Hello students. Hope you are doing okay and ready for another session of learning. This video is on oxidation, reduction and redox. The learning objective for this video are short and easy to grasp. Try coming back to them at the end of the video as this is an important topic in the BMAT exam. Let us proceed. Oxidation reduction reactions. Earth's atmosphere contains about 20% molecular oxygen, O2, a chemically reactive gas that plays an essential role in the metabolism of aerobic organisms and in many environmental processes that shape the world. The term oxidation was originally used to describe chemical reactions involving O2, but its meaning has evolved to refer to a broad and important reaction class known as oxidation reduction, redox, reactions. A few examples of such reactions will be used to develop a clear picture of this classification. Some redox reactions involve the transfer of electrons between reactant species to yield ionic products, such as the reaction between sodium and chlorine to yield sodium chloride. It is helpful to view the process with regard to each individual reactant, that is, to represent the fate of each reactant in the form of an equation, called a half-reaction. These equations show that sodium atoms lose electrons while chlorine atoms, in the chlorine-2 molecule, gain electrons, the S subscripts for the resulting ions signifying they are present in the form of a solid ionic compound. For redox reactions of this sort, the loss and gain of electrons define the complementary processes that occur. Oxidation equals loss of electrons reduction equals gain of electrons. In this reaction, then, sodium is oxidized, and chlorine undergoes reduction. Viewed from a more active perspective, sodium functions as a reducing agent, reductant, since it provides electrons to, or reduces, chlorine. Likewise, chlorine functions as an oxidizing agent, oxidant, as it effectively removes electrons from, oxidizes, sodium. Reducing agent equals species that is oxidized. Oxidizing agent equals species that is reduced. Some redox processes, however, do not involve the transfer of electrons. Consider, for example, a reaction similar to the one yielding sodium chloride. The product of this reaction is a covalent compound, so transfer of electrons in the explicit sense is not involved. To clarify the similarity of this reaction to the previous one, and permit an unambiguous definition of redox reactions, a property called oxidation number has been defined. The oxidation number, or oxidation state, of an element in a compound, is the charge its atoms would possess, if the compound was ionic. The following guidelines are used to assign oxidation numbers to each element in a molecular ion. 1. The oxidation number of an atom in an elemental substance is 0 2. The oxidation number of a monatomic ion is equal to the ion's charge 3. Oxidation numbers for common nonmetals are usually assigned as follows. Hydrogen, plus 1 when combined with nonmetals, minus 1 when combined with metals oxygen, minus 2 in most compounds, sometimes minus 1, so-called peroxides, O2 2 minus, very rarely 1 2, so-called superoxides, O2 minus, positive values when combined with F, values vary, halogens, minus 1 for F always, minus 1 for other halogens except when combined with oxygen or other halogens, positive oxidation numbers in these cases, varying values, 4. The sum of oxidation numbers for all atoms in a molecule, or polyatomic ion equals the charge on the molecular ion. Note, the proper convention for reporting charge is to write the number first, followed by the sign, e.g., 2 plus, while oxidation number is written with the reverse sequence, sign followed by number, e.g., plus 2. This convention aims to emphasize the distinction between these two related properties. For disproportionation reactions, the same substance functions as an oxidant and a reductant dot. Let's have a look at an example. Consider this reaction below. This is a redox reaction. It is a particularly interesting process, as it involves the same element, oxygen, undergoing both oxidation and reduction, a so-called disproportionation reaction. Oxygen is oxidized, its oxidation number increasing from 1 in H2O2, aqueous, to 0 in O2, gaseous. Oxygen is also reduced, its oxidation number decreasing from 1 in H2O2, aqueous, to 2 in H2O, a liquid. For disproportionation reactions, the same substance functions as an oxidant and a reductant. Thank you so much for watching. The next video is on chemical bonding, structure and properties.